Get faster internet speeds for free when you get TV, internet, and phone. Ask for Trio from Rev. Rev, join the revolution. Coming up in news tonight, Long Island MP Loretta Butler Turner accuses opposition leader Dr. Hubert Minnis of trying to silence her. Plus, day one of the FNM convention, bringing party leaders together. That story coming up. A founding father of the FNM sends a clear message to the party's MPs. That story coming up. Two men accused of armed robbery and burglary stand before the magistrate's court. That and more tonight on our news. Welcome to our news. I'm Dana Smith. Thanks for joining us. Topping news tonight, the first day of the FNM convention came with its fair share of drama. Hours before last night's opening ceremony, Long Island MP Loretta Butler Turner took to social media, accusing Dr. Hubert Minnis of trying to silence her during the convention. Party chairman Sidney Colley responded to those claims today. Jasmine Brown has the details in this report. For weeks, the drama within the FNM has played out in the public eye, and last night, party infighting continued after Butler Turner, who is running for leader of the party, wrote a damning Facebook post. The post has since been deleted from the Long Island MP's Facebook page, but not before it was shared on social media. Butler Turner claimed that since pledging to pay $100,000 to help fund the convention, she has seen nothing but disorganization, half-truths, and backroom deals. Butler Turner also accused Dr. Hubert Minnis of doing everything he can to silence her voice and steal the convention. Dr. Minnis was allotted 45 minutes for his keynote address last night, and according to the convention program, Butler Turner was allotted 10 minutes to speak tonight. When asked about those allotted times last night, Minnis said he was not a part of the committee that makes those decisions. Today, FNM Chairman Sidney Colley addressed Butler Turner's concerns. Ms. Butler Turner will be speaking from 9.35 to 10 p.m., 25 minutes. Butler Turner also said in her post that Minnis' deviousness only shows how threatened he is. She says under these conditions, the democracy of our party is threatened, our convention is threatened, and the FNM itself is threatened. While she declined to comment today, her running mate, Dr. Dwayne Sands, said this. I suspect that that is a typographical error, and this team, Turner Sands, will uh, acknowledge that it was a typographical error, and I think... Mrs. Butler Turner will plan on speaking uh, a comprehensive uh, period this evening. Both Colley and Sands admit tensions are running high between both sides, but they insist supporters must realize the FNM is one party with one unified voice. I was happy to see what, how the convention ended last night with the two candidates for leader and the two candidates for deputy leader uh, mount the stage together and close out the convention. I uh, view this as the beginning of the healing process. I think what we sought to do last night uh, was to demonstrate that come what may, um, we have to be together. And we ought to seek the common ground that unites us as opposed to uh, magnifying those things that separate us. Voting for those posts starts Friday afternoon, and Colley says they expect to learn who will lead the party by that evening. Reporting for our news, I'm Jasmine Brown. Colley also confirmed there have been issues with housing a number of Family Island delegates who flew in to participate in this week's convention. But he is shooting down claims that it had anything to do with warring factions within the party. Last night, a voice note emerged indicating a number of delegates was unable to secure a room at the Malia Nassau Beach Resort. In it, a woman insists Butler Turner and Sands supporters were being singled out. My colleague today denied that claim, saying it was an issue with the hotel. Despite the initial confusion, Colley says hotel staff and FNM organizers were able to sort out the majority of the issues. Uh, all of the delegates came flooding in, the majority of them, 80% of the delegates came flooding into Nassau yesterday. And they all swarmed down on the front desk. Uh, they had to, Malia had only detailed two uh, front, front desk clerk, and we were doing registration simultaneously for the convention for delegates. 
A total of 410 delegates are expected to participate in the three-day convention, with an additional 194 alternates also taking part. I was advised that there may be maybe three or four lingering uh, issues. Uh, my, I myself have not yet gotten my room. Uh, but that's, that's, the, that's the least of my worries. Well, FNM leader Dr. Hubert Minnis tackling the party's internal drama head on. Christina McNeil was there and has this report. FNM leader Dr. Hubert Minnis spreading a message of unity during day one of the party's convention. This as he acknowledged that it has not been an easy road to the convention, but the time has come for all FNMs to come together. Minnis claims the Christie-led administration has been the worst government in the history of the Bahamas, and he had one message for the Progressive Liberal Party. But Minnis says the only way to do that is for party leaders and members to put their differences aside and unite to fight the PLP because Bahamians deserve better governance. This comes after months of infighting within the FNM and a challenge of party leadership. The only winning formula is unity. If we are unified, no one can defeat us. It is time, FNMs, to stop fighting each other. Instead, we must continue to fight for each other. On Friday, after the delegate votes are tallied and he emerges as leader, Minnis says there will be no fracture, crack or split in the FNM. This as he showed a united front, inviting leadership candidates Loretta Butler-Turner and Dr. Dwayne Sands on stage. Our detractors are betting that on Friday, we will end up as a fractured party. But... The devil is a liar. This is my message to you. Reporting for our news, I'm Christina McNeil. Also, FNM founding father Maurice Moore warned MPs to support party leader Dr. Hubert Minnis during the pre-convention rally on Tuesday. He said if they can't, then they need to, quote, get the hell out of their seats. Simone Davis has more in the support. During his speech at the pre-convention rally at Arawaki earlier this week, Moore blasted those six MPs who gave Minnis an ultimatum. Moore reminded them that the party is in good hands under the leadership of Dr. Minnis. My mission tonight is to tell you that on Friday night, you have a chance to send a resounding message. All evidence throughout this country, give your leader a chance. Moore was referring directly to Long Island MP Loretta Butler-Turner, St. Anne's MP Hubert Chipman, Montague MP Richard Lightbourne, Nothy Luther MP Theo Neely, Central Grand Bahama MP Nico Grant, and Fort Charlotte MP Dr. Andre Rollins. Moore asserted that they should put their energy towards supporting the leader instead of causing division within the party. This group, I'm not going to get into it because I'll leave that for, I'll leave that for them to deal with afterwards. But I've, I've watched their actions carefully. There is no justification for what they are doing. They need to give that energy and put it behind our leader. 
Butler Turner is running against Menace once again, and former Senator Dr. Dwayne Sands is running against Deputy Leader Peter Turnquist. Last month, Moore told Nassau Guardian that he believes the Long Island MP's second attempt to run for party leader would be as unsuccessful as the first. As for those six MPs, Moore charged that although they are good people, he believes they are headed in the wrong direction. No reason whatsoever. All the energy, those persons who sat in FNM seats, I know the leader may not want me to say this, but I can say it anyhow. They are sitting in your seats. If they cannot support your chosen leader, get the hell out of the seats. The FNM convention ends on Friday. Reporting for our news, I'm Simone Davis. When our news comes back, two men appear in court charged with armed robbery. So stay with us.